My name is Attila Novoselak. I am professor in civil architectural and environmental engineering at University of Texas at Austin. So in the test house, I'm in charge for uh, making sure that all the systems operate uh, so that we have an environment which is as close as possible to a typical home, but also all the uh, indoor environmental parameters which are affecting uh, indoor chemistry are measured and controlled uh, in, in the sense that we can have repeatable experiments. I had quite an uh, unusual path till I get to this position here and I don't know where, where the future will take me. Uh, I like problems uh, and I'm a problem solver, but I was not always that. Uh, I was uh, first mathematician and then uh, I went to mechanical engineering. I started looking uh, how I can use my math skills uh, solving uh, some complex fluid dynamic problems. Air fluid dynamic problems uh, in homes are quite interesting because they're affecting how the fresh air moves, how the pollutants distribute through the house and how viruses and pathogens move uh, from person to person when you cough. Uh, it is actually quite uh, interesting fluid dynamic problems, but in the process I learned about microbiology. Uh, chemistry was always there. That's how I ended up actually here uh, working with uh, world experts in chemistry, which all decided to move in indoor environment. Surface chemistry is really, really important but we do that in our test rooms and chambers because we can isolate this much better. Uh, however, if you look at some cleaning and cooking, that chemistry is driven by the whole house. In order to solve one set of problems associated with thermal comfort, we generated a whole variety of other problems, which is enclosing our environments and isolating ourselves from outside environments. Uh, so we have to do that because we have to still acknowledge that heat stroke is one of the largest killer and we should control our environments and have thermal comfort in our homes. But the scary part is that very often we are used as a guinea pigs uh, because we are using certain products till we figure out that it is really harmful for us and then we replace that product with something else which we don't know yet how harmful it is. Home chemistry will raise awareness that we need to better control what is in certain products. And not just what is in certain products, but how those products react with, with our environment. The scary part is the, the fact that we don't know a lot.